YouTube! Recently I've been planning which shows that I'm going to be seeing over the next few months and working out obviously the cheapest way to get tickets to see these shows and I've realised that lotteries are becoming a bit more of a thing in the West End so I thought it might be helpful perhaps to some of you guys for me to chat through uh, a few of the West End lotteries we have going on at the moment, how to enter them, what the procedure is, how much they cost, how many tickets you can get, all of that stuff, just to hopefully make it a bit easier for you if you're planning to come to London and enter these West End lotteries for cheaper West End show tickets. The first show I will be talking about is kind of like the original show that brought over lotteries, in my experience anyway. Uh, it's the first one that brought over big news about theatre lotteries I feel because they came from Broadway and that is the Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon actually do two lotteries, they do an in-person one and an online one. So first of all let me talk about the in-person one. Basically all you have to do is go to the theatre two and a half hours before the show and outside the theatre you will see the lottery guy with the lotto slips. On there you have to fill in your name, you can just say where you live, people can just put countries, that's fine. Um, I think an email address and you can circle how many tickets you want so either one or two you can only get two per person if you win and then what you do is you fold up that lottery slip you pop it into the tombola and then two hours before the show so half an hour later if you get there obviously as soon as the lottery starts um, you have to be there in person have ID ready in case your name gets called out and then they start the lottery process of spinning the tombola picking out names, calling them out. It can be really fun to be there. I find it quite anxiety inducing because obviously I want to win, I really want to win. So I'm there waiting for my name to be called out, like, please let it be me. And the two times it's happened, I basically screamed with joy because it's an awesome feeling, like who doesn't love winning? So if you are lucky enough to win, you will go up to the lottery guys, they'll check your ID, so this is why you need to have it ready, because it's such a quick process, you don't want to be that person that's keeping everyone up, so just have your ID ready to give to them, so they can just check that it's definitely you. From there, you go straight on into the box office, um, they'll obviously explain it, that you're paying for the lottery tickets, their front row tickets, which is an incredible view, it's so good, and then they're £20 each, so you can pay cash or card and you've got your tickets. Well done. <laughs> so as well as that they do an online lottery and that is on their website. So this one's really simple because I think it's every Wednesday you enter. I'll put a clip on the screen here of the website and the page that it's on. So you just go in there, fill in your details and then I believe they notify you by email whether you've won and it can be tickets for any of the shows the next week so you can select which shows you definitely can do or if you want better luck you can do you can click all of the shows so that's a slightly more easy way of doing it if you can't get down to London but still want to try and win cheap tickets their second sort of big lottery to hit the West End was with Kinky Boots at the Adelphi Theatre their lottery is a bit different because it's not in person it's online via an app called Today Tix this one is super easy to enter because if you have the Today Tix app that you already have an account on there it's just like three taps probably on your iPhone and you are entered into the lottery and then I believe they let you know whether you've won a couple of hours before the show if you are selected as a lottery winner you have an hour to claim the tickets and you do that all within the app you pay within the app your tickets are in the app it's all done on there so if you're at work if you're at home if you're not even in London but want to try and win and are willing to come down to London you can enter like there's nothing stopping you these tickets are 20 pounds for the front row and you can enter for up to two tickets if you win the lottery you'll be notified by email and also if you have push notifications on the app on your phone it should come up on your home home screen that you've won sadly if you don't realize in time and don't claim your tickets they will obviously be given to other people do make sure the today ticks email is not um, going into your junk folder just add them to your contacts so it'll definitely go into your inbox because that's the worst thing when you realize you've won and you didn't notice the next lottery I'm going to talk about is for sure going to take over all of the other lotteries it is going to be the Hamilton of the West End and that is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child now I amongst many others was sadly not lucky enough to be able to get tickets the day they were released I can't remember why I couldn't get in the queue to get them but I know I couldn't and it was very sad 
but I'm not good with those sorts of situations. I don't like being in online queues. It stresses me out, it makes me anxious. So I'm really, really glad they're doing a lottery scheme because even though this will make me like even more anxious, um, it's just another chance for me to try and get tickets hopefully at a cheaper price. So basically what they are doing with Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is the Friday 40. So every Friday, including in previews, which are until the 30th of July, I believe, so it's quite a long preview period, every Friday at one o'clock, there's this page on the website and on the ticket information page, slightly down at the bottom, you'll see a countdown. And that is how many days, hours, minutes you have until you can enter the lottery. When it gets to the time that you can enter, the countdown will change to a button which says book tickets. From there, I believe you'll be taken probably into a short queue because I imagine it's gonna be really busy. I presume then you're going to be able to just fill in a few bits of information. So if you want one or two tickets, you'll probably email address and obviously a full name. And from there, you'll be entered into the lottery. I think it's an hour after that. So you've got an hour time slot to enter the lottery. So between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. So you will then be notified by email if you won. And obviously that'll be like the best email of your life if you do win. How it works is in previews, you will be paying 30 pounds for your tickets. This includes tickets of part one and part two in consecutive shows. So the schedule during previews is a little bit different, but obviously I'm, I'm guessing they'll let you know about this in the email and then after previews it'll be £40 for the two tickets so that's still an absolute bargain that's £20 per show and considering some of the prices these tickets are going for that is a steal so can everyone just cross their fingers that I get to win the Harry Potter lottery and I can go and see it because I really want to see it. Another incredible thing about these lottery tickets is that they are going to be in an amazing location in the stalls there's a like a block of lottery seats so if you win, the view is going to be insane. And I'm going to be entering every week for as long as I live. Wish me luck. Finally, the last show that's doing a lottery that I'm going to talk about today is Aladdin at the Prince Edward Theatre. Their lottery scheme is basically the same as the Book of Mormons. So turn up two and a half hours before the show. I am totally presuming that it's going to be just by front of house. Yeah, I can only presume it's going to be out the front at the Prince Edward Theatre, but once it starts, um, if that's any different, I'll make a little amendment on this video. The timings are definitely going to be the same. It's two and a half hours before the show, the lottery begins, and then two hours before the show, the winners are drawn. It's again the same, that you'll have to be there at the theatre two hours before to hear if your name gets called out. Be aware, these tickets are going to be £25 and it's at total box office discretion of where the tickets will be and also, according to their website, they will only be accepting cash. So please, if you are hoping to win this, have £25 ready in cash. Regardless of you not knowing where you're going to be sitting, at that price, I think it's going to be pretty good. I think to be able to see any show at that price is amazing and as well this lottery for aladdin will only be happening after the 16th of june so please don't try it before then apart from the in-person lotteries you can find a few other little lotteries on today ticks and as well they're doing a rush option for charlie and the chocolate factory so this is another thing that's kind of more american because while we daisy in the uk they rush for their tickets which doesn't make sense for me because rushing in my opinion is like when you are getting last minute returns or cheap tickets like minutes before the show, not queuing up like 10 hours or whatever before in the morning. So it doesn't really make sense to me, but they're doing this thing with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where you can get 25 pound tickets for the show. I'm kind of hoping this will become more of a thing through the app for other shows because it's great that people can see shows at a more affordable price. Uh, it makes me really happy. In general, I'd highly recommend downloading Today Tix, especially if you live in London and can just easily pop to the theatre like after work or from home because you could see a show for such a cheap price and really last minute so why not? It's a really useful app to have if you are a theatre fan, so definitely go download it. And as well, if you want £10 off of your first order, you can use my referral code. This video is not sponsored by Today Dix, as much as I've made it sound so. I just think it's a really good app, and if you can save money on theatre, why not? Especially if you use that code. 
I really hope this video has helped some of you. I know that a lot of people still have the idea that theatre is really expensive and you can't go. And I think, especially for those who live in London, there are so many ways that you can get really cheap tickets, but that also goes to people who live nationwide. So yes, I hope this has helped. Please give it a like if you've enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me in the future. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.